Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 5. Something about Proto Man. Yeah, so as it turns out, uh, Proto Man's... The cartoon was correct the whole time. So Proto Man's a villain. Who do? Who do? <gasps> Eight new robot masters. But first, a story. Yes. Um, we've seen some of the story there on the intro. The story from the manual, um, let me read, says... Brother against brother. Once I called you brother. Once I thought the chance to make you laugh was all that I wanted. Stop burning down Egypt, man. No, that's what ancient Egypt gets for making card games, of ch uh, ch children's card games, like super evil. Uh, Cossack to Mega Man, Cossack to Mega Man, come in, Mega Man. Proto Man has gone wild. City Hall and the spaceport have been totally destroyed, and the city's power grid is in shambles. I've never seen destruction on this scale before. You know, this, this you is mean probably despite the... like the four times Dr. Wily did the same thing? Yeah. You know, this is probably the only time you can actually get away with using the word totally and not have it be like 90s <laughs> totally slang. I know you're worried about Dr. Light, but your first duty is to free the city from the grip of Proto Man's robots. I can modify your reactor to give the Mega Buster a little more power, but the rest is up to you. Dr. Light and I have been working on a special project, but it's not finished yet. Maybe if I can get it working, it might give you the edge. Remember to watch your back, Mega Man. Proto Man seems to have become more ruthless than we had thought possible. Good luck. Cossack, out! And that's the story from the uh, instruction manual. So, with that said, um, we're doing the same thing as before, where I play a stage and Ogre plays a stage. I get to go first, so I'm starting with, as you have told me, Wave Man. Yes, Wave Man would be the correct choice, despite so, what everybody else says. So I'm going to Wave Man. Give a stink eye for no reason, because not like anybody can see it. Okay, now Wave Man's stage isn't bad, but you really gotta pay attention to these little steam vents. I'm gonna wait for this one to go again because I messed that up. Oh, I still got hit! Uh huh. Anyway, uh, well, actually, you just kind of saw there, there, you're using the new Mega Buster. There's a drawback with it this time. Achoo! Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it's a lot bigger, does the same damage as it did last time, but if you get hit, you lose your charge. Oh, that's kind of fair. I think they kind of did it to balance the whole thing. I'm not timing this right at all. No, you are not. Just, okay, now go. Ah! <laughs> Listen, you're gonna have to get hit at some point. That's why you have an energy bar. I'll just figure this out. How did and you beat Sephi Rot Extreme and Thord in Extreme with your timing this so badly? Look, I don't know. I just keep walking up to him weird. Okay, these are actually tricky because I think, like, the first block, if you could consider these things being like two blocks wide, I think the first block of these funnels will suck you in even if you touch the top of it. Yeah. So you've got to like jump and clear that first block and land on the second one in order to get up here. Without touching that oh. <laughs> first block for that one. And then get sucked in here, Steam. which gets you a one-up. Yay! That one-up was charging up too. I like that. I never knew why he did that before. You can't kill these things. No. They're kind of jerks. I always wonder why he did that, and then I kind of just think, it's like, oh, it's probably because it's on the same pallet as you and has to technically charge. Yeah. You can, like, slide off the edge and, like, completely miss him. I'm just gonna wait. Huh. I was wasting everyone's time. A lot of waiting in this level. Okay, these bubbles are jerks, but if once you know how to do it, it's not bad. You jump on a big one. The bottom one, the little ones, you can stand on once. And then they, like, pop immediately, and you gotta get over to this one, and you just ride it on it. So they act like almost normal bubbles, because Mega Man is a robot and has to be, so these have to be, like, super bubbles to take his weight. Now, there's a glitch here. I'm at least gonna mention it. I have no idea how to do it. I was just it, about to say, use your super arrows. Wait, you don't yeah. have those yet. But if you happen to have the super arrows, you can glitch yourself past, like, this entire next segment. Well, not past it, but you get to have some fun with it. And walk on water. I can't do it, though. I try to practice. I can't figure out how to do it. It'd probably help if I had somebody who actually told me how you're supposed to do it instead of just watching videos. But what are you gonna do? Because right now, what is it? I walk past this. I'm not controlling Mega Man. He's getting on this on his own. And now you're controlling Mega Man. A oh, quick Mega Man it. A Mega Man in it. Mega Man in it. Okay, so you can shoot these little things, but it's probably better just to jump over them because you're never really positive you're gonna be able to kill them. 
They like take two shots. As soon as these so fish much. show up! Yeah. Start popping the fish. Just. What? It's like every game that's a different uh. kind of Joe in the whole thing. Those waiver Joes. Boss time! Oh no, a mini boss. Oh, it's an octopus. Who'd have thought? It's a launching octopus. Now, he actually shoots this shot at you like it's aimed at you, and I'm very bad at dodging it. Thankfully, over here. I think this part of the oh, stage geez, was always was kind of annoying because you can't pause whatsoever. That is a little annoying, yeah. But if you're lucky, you can kill these things and they can drop health power-ups, which sure. you're probably going to need your thing. I'm going to die here soon is what I, what's going to happen. Now, when two fish come up... Oh! If you get there... Yeah, if I make it that far. It should be coming up here. After two fish, you jump and you get a letter. Yay, a little life. Ooh. That letter is for something important later down the line. That's totally not a bird. I made it. I didn't get hit by the last two. Yay. Yeah, I got three life left. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna die a lot. Okay. Unless... Um. Yeah, this guy. I'm gonna farm some life because this guy shoots. Why oh, you have to be facing him? He shoots when you shoot. You can shoot his projectile and get uh, drops and stuff. So I'm gonna try to do that for a little while. Chirk. Well, I got an extra life. Ah. I gotta, okay, I gotta get my timing down. Ah, crap! Well, <laughs> time to die to wave, man! Have fun. He's totally, like, almost the easiest boss in this whole thing. Really? After the trouble I had getting his pattern down. Well, yeah, I think he's the only one that takes extra damage from the Make Buster. That doesn't make him easy. And his pattern's really simple. You lie. I don't lie. This pattern's really easy. It's just... Dude, wow. So how about that easy pattern? Well, that thing's random, so... <laughs> Kinda random. I think it's just supposed to pop up around okay, where you um, are, but... I, I will say, I made the mistake of scooting forward like three pixels, which you don't want to do at the start. You want to stand still. So let's try that again. With more life this time. And less dying. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot him. He's gonna do that. He's gonna shoot at me. I'm gonna get hit. He's gonna do that. Actually, it was looking up info on Wave Man. It actually says in the uh, Mega Man database about a bunch of stuff about him is that he's very antisocial and doesn't like people near him. And I think it's inferred because his two of his oh, his two attacks are actually long range. This guy weapons. isn't that bad, but I'm messing up. Apparently, you can get pissed off pretty easily, and when that happens, he just shoots his harpoons like nobody's business. Okay, I gotta play this safe. I gotta remember to do this. I gotta not stand next to him when he does that. Yeah, I beat him! And you win! Go me! Yay! I'm gonna stand as far away as physically possible. So the idea with that guy's pattern that I messed up entirely is, um... Wave it's harpoon a, jump, wave harpoon jump. It's when he shoots his harpoon. Oh, I'm gonna hand the controller to Ogre so he can play the next stage. But he shoots the harpoon, you have to jump over the harpoon but under him. As soon as you land, turn and shoot him, and then immediately jump so his like wave thing doesn't hit you. And then just kind of wait for him to shoot another harpoon. You jump over that harpoon and under him. Um, like if he's super far away, I think he like jumps really low, really far, and you can't really do that, so you want to stay not that far away from him. He can be a jerk sometimes, is what I'm trying to say. If he wants to hit you, he's going to. Okay, uh, with that done, next up is Napalm Man. I mean, Star Man. George Clooney. I mean, man. Gravity Man. I mean, Proto Man. No, Gravity Man is Sandra Bullock. Oh, okay. So, Star Man, um, Ogre's Flame. <laughs> yep. I get the jumpy level. Yeah. Yeah. Man, look at you jumping. I'm in outer space. Woo! Almost like you're some kind of jump man. Jump and shooting man is what I am. You're like jump man, but better. You can shoot too. Ah, uh, asteroids. Not designed for asteroids. So man. obviously the main gimmick is uh, low gravity. Woo! Low man, look gravity. at all this health I'm getting. Yeah, it'd be nice if I got health from literally anything. I don't know what the crap that guy's deal was. Man, look at this extra life I need. 
Man, look at all these health drops I'm getting. It's a smorgasbord of health. Mmm, so delicious. If you remember that guy that I said you could farm for life, I don't know what that guy's deal was, but I was farming him in practice, and he gave me a drop like once every hundred shots I hit him with. Oh, there went an extra life. Like, that guy was a jerk. Mmm, another mysterious mm, letter. Him. I'm sure I'm lined up correctly with this. Huh? Huh? Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm willing to bet Mets, like, can't breathe in space or something, because despite that they still have their hard helmets, you can kill them in a single blow, simply by shooting them in their giant glass... head case. It's weird that they have glass head cases, but... So yeah. clearly that's it, they just can't breathe in outer space. Uh, be careful with those little edge spikes, because you catch the freaking edge, it's just instant death anyway. I hate that, but the little hitbox dis dissonance with, like, spikes and everything. Then this guy you gotta shoot, like, right in his glowing little eye there. I like that guy, he's just the kind of a cool little walking robot in Mega Man, I was like, ugh. Oh. And he can't even hit you. Where's the pilot for that thing? Like, if you just stand still on the ground, he can't even hit you, so he's not even, like, a huge threat. Uh, you just have to make sure you don't jump into his laser when you're trying to shoot him in the eye. Oh, my eye! Well, his one robot eye. Uh, so you thought you wanted not only slow physics, but how about some moving platforms? I feel like these little, like, rocket guys that come up are based off something. The I'll rocket be, men. But I'll be darned if I know what. Burning out their fuel out there. Yep, burning out their fuel out there. God! I really wish I knew the lyrics to Rocket Man. I would have. I would have totally started like slow talking Rocket Man. I know you would have. <laughs> Star Man, he wants to direct. But he can't, because I'm just gonna wave all over him. So the wave beam is pretty alright, because it gets rid of his shield. His star shield. And makes him a little bit of a joke. Yeah. I'm gonna pause him to change over Meg Man. Did it, and Buster only! You all saw it! <laughs> Clearly. That's irrefutable proof that I beat it Buster only, because I was on Mega Man. <laughs> and I did it, so... And funny thing is, in practice, I beat all of the bosses that I need to beat Buster only, but I didn't exactly do it my first try. Oftentimes it was my seventh or eighth try. No, you got Crystal Man down first try. I did try. do Crystal Man first try. But that's Wave Man and Star Man down, so until next time, When I throw the everybody... controller at Naka's face. Oh! Oh, oh no, it's bouncing at me, but going in comic slow time to where I have enough time to narrate this whole thing. Oh, oh too fast.